hungry for eternity. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 25 through 40. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Very truly, I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he had sent. So they said to him, What sign are you going to give us then, since that, so that we may see it and believe you? What work are you performing? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Or he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But I said to you that you have seen me, and yet do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and anyone who comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. This is indeed the will of my Father, that all who see the Son and believe in him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. Often in the Gospels, Jesus is misunderstood. And especially in the Gospel of John, more often than not, his signs... John never calls any miracle a miracle. They are signs. They point to something, just like a sign on a street. That this sign, after feeding the thousands with loaves and fish, they've been hunting him down. Because who would not want a never-ending buffet of food forever? But this hunger is deeper and Jesus seems certainly skeptical of the crowd that's following him. You only want it for the buffet, but I have much larger reasons to do this and a greater lesson here to be learned than simply seeking out that which can be provided for you. There's a lot in here that talks about seeing and believing and being given to him. It seems to be that, of course, John was written in a context where some in the synagogue had been thrown out for believing in Jesus, and that this is to be an encouragement to continue to believe that it, you will be satisfied. Your hunger will be met. Your thirst will be satiated. You will encounter eternity with it. But they seem certainly confused at, well, prove to us do in like manner to what our ancestors did. And how often do we ask God to do a similar thing? To just do, do what we bid, or what has been done, or what's been told to us has been done. Where Jesus reminds that it was not the agent, Moses, who did this, but God the Father who did provide the food in the wilderness. Whether we hunger or thirst physically, which is more a case of we can produce the food we need, we just don't distribute the proceeds of our harvest well, or the food and thirst we seek spiritually. We are promised by Jesus that this food and this drink will satisfy us fully. If we eat of the word of God, the bread of heaven, as well as drank from the cup of life, we will find ourselves satisfied. We will see, we will believe, 
No one will be stopped from coming to Jesus. And Jesus will never send anyone away. But the bread from heaven is the only bread that truly satisfies. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the very blessings you give to us, not only for physical strength and nourishment of our bodies, but the strength that comes in filling our souls, our spiritual lives, from eating from the table with you. Help us to take this bread of heaven and make it part of our lives. Help us to grasp eternity while seeking and believing in you. Amen. Blessings to you and yours this day and always. Goodbye.